Hello buddy, my name is Pixie and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'll be testing out the Elytra X Dine Rhythm Pack and I'll be showing you what is inside, what you get for the price and why you might want to try it out for yourself. So what I'm gonna show you is what you can sort of expect when buying the pack. I will also try out some of Elytra's presets in Vegas Pro and finally show you what I've made with the pack at the end. So stay tuned and let's begin with the video. And here we are in the pack's glue drive, so as you can see I've got the premium edition, which is great because I'll be able to show you what the full pack has to offer. And also Danny has given me 5 free codes to give out to you guys, so somewhere in the video there'll be a code with 5 free uses. So if you manage to get the pack with the codes then let me know in the comments below, but yeah, let's begin. I'm gonna start off with overlays and in overlays folder all you're gonna get is other which is some other overlays then light leaks which as you can see there's a, a ton of them which is nice then we got glitch overlays and as you can see there's a ton of glitch overlays as well so that's it with the overlays and then we got the tutorials folder, so as you can see there's Lightrust part and Danny's part, so if I run over to Lightrust part, this is what he has at the moment, and as you can see there's a lot of unique tutorials like Vegas adjustment layers, color isolation, then of course tutorials for his impacts, and over here we have a data mosh tutorial, which is actually pretty useful since you know that's what Lightra uses a ton. Now in the Danny part he has a tutorial for 3D intros, which you know he's very known for that, and of course we have a typography tutorial, which is a text tutorial. Now actually this guy TempiQ made an edit with Danny's tutorials which is right now on screen and as you can see he made all of that with Danny's tutorials and I think that's pretty cool but moving on from tutorials we have sound effects and you know these are just sound effects we got edited ones we got different swooshes and of course Fortnite sound effects over here we have random and that's it with the sound effects and then if you go into templates as you can see there are a lot of templates to choose from we have game animations code animations items lower terms highlight text and intros and outro so that's cool but i won't be able to show you because you no know, that will take too long then next up we have motion design so this is tutorials for items and other stuff and then he has a project file folder and this is you know project files for pack three list outros and items which is nice then next up we have plugins over here and then we have the practice clips folder and this is all clips from very good clip hitters so this is like very useful if you need clips and then we have project files so of course from Lytra and Danny and if we go to Lytra's part as you can see every single project file is in a folder and if you click on one it has the clips folder and it also has a project file folder which I think helps a ton but then of course we have Danny and Danny has um, After Effects project files as you can see a ton of them and then of course like these folders so let's see Lithuania it has the footage and it also has the project file which is also helpful if you're trying to recreate the edit. But finally, we have the presets folder, and in the presets folder, we have Lytra part, which is Vegas, and Danny's part, which is After Effects. So going to Lytra's folder, he has XMLs, which is basically effect presets, and then presets. So in presets folder, he has a color correction folder, and then a preset file, which contains all of his presets. And then going into Danny's folder, you got all of your After Effects editors stacked with presets, so stuff like build-ups, impacts, transitions, glitch presets, color correction, audio presets, and more. Well yeah guys, that's about it with the glue drive. Personally, I think this has everything you need. And what I really like is the templates, the overlays, and the project files. They all really help me sort of expand my editing skills. And yeah, these resources really help me out. But now, I'm gonna show you some of Lytra's presets in Vegas Pro. And here we are in of Vegas Pro. So I'll be showing you some of the lighter presets that he has. And starting off with the first one, we have 10 frame half tone color glitch. Now, as you can see, it does this. And the only use I found for this is for a transition. So you could do something like this. Not a big fan of this, but you know, it is what it is. And then moving on, we have the color presets, which I actually really, really like. So the first one we have is beautiful colors. As you can see, it looks like this. And you can use this for an intro. You can use this in the middle of the video. And for all sorts of things. So it looks like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool but moving on we have purple partial coloring so if you apply this onto the video it will sort of do this but as you can see it doesn't pick up as much color because of the video colors so instead what we can use is partial glow and center over here and as you can see this one gives off these crazy color effects which honestly could be used for anything as well like an intro in the middle of the video or you can even do what sovio does but it looks like that and this is what i made with this And then we have this cool colors, but unfortunately I cannot use it because I don't have a certain plugin, so we're gonna skip past. Then we have two different impacts, so the first one is sort of a glitch style, so if I apply this, it looks like this. So it looks like this and sort of reminds me of the Zen style, which I actually really like. And then we have an impact shake for a clean style. 
As you can see, looks like that, and you know, looks pretty nice. And also there is build-up, so we have the dark glitch of Ignat, which when applied looks something like this. And then for the other two, I can actually not show you that because I don't have the plugin. And of course, you can't forget about the color correction. So there are two color corrections. One is for a glitch style, which looks like this. And then, which is my favorite, is the clean style one. And then we have the two other presets, which the first one is the scan and glitch, which sort of looks like this and you can use this for a transition or whatever you want. And now finally, we have the text animation preset with glow, which with the animation looks like this. And in my opinion, this is one of the most unique presets from Lytra Pack yet, because I don't see many people use this text and use these sort of colors. But yeah guys, that's about it the Lytra presets, and if I was to pick my two favorite presets, then it would probably be the text animation and the partial glow. Because the partial glow, you could probably make a thousand different things with it, and it looks really nice. And the text animation, because it looks unique, and I've never really seen anybody use text in this way. But yeah, that's about it from me. Now, he now here's the edit that I Now here's the edit that I made with the editing pack. So yeah, that's the edit that I made with the editing pack. You know, I really enjoyed playing with the presets and making different stuff for it. And I think the final edit came out pretty nicely. But if you want to copy the pack yourself, it is linked down in the description. And you know, if you're trying to explore different editing styles, then I think this pack is very good for you. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. My name is Pixie. I'm out.